gonna switch back to English because now we have uh, Matt Troyer who is a Toyota specialist. He's been doing this job for about 15 years. So uh, if this were a sport, uh, Matt will be probably he's training really, really hard these, <laughs> these days to get in shape for the auto show. How are you, Matt? I'm good, Javier. Thanks for having me. Um, yes, we're in training right now for sure. This is right. This is what we call our preseason, moving into the big, the big shows like uh, uh, Miami soon, and then Los Angeles in about a month. So we're excited. Yeah, and then I get goes on uh, at the beginning of the year in 2015, Detroit, Chicago, New York. So a lot of work in the months ahead. So Matt, uh, as I, uh, I mentioned in the introduction, you've been doing this for 15 years. So around uh, 2000, I guess you started. I did well. Actually, the fall of 1999 was my first season, so I'm going into my 16th season of auto shows. Yeah. Well, you're really a veteran, and you've seen a lot. Obviously, a change in the automotive industry. I guess if we put a 1999 car besides the, for let's say the 2015 Toyota Camry, which I just drove uh, last week, I mean, uh, there will be a lot of questions <laughs> to ask. Huh? Absolutely, yeah. There's there's been some big changes in the industry from '99 for sure, especially in the areas of uh, I would say safety and then technology. And it seems like all the cars are a little bit bigger too. It, it, you know, every year uh, the cars seem to get a little bit bigger and uh, more more technology for sure. Yeah, and uh, the technology and power trains. I mean, uh, years years ago, I mean, like I don't know, in 1999, all were like gas cars, no, not even diesel cars. And now there's hybrid, plug-in hybrids, electric cars, uh, all kind of sorts of uh, powertrains that people can choose from, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. In fact, I remember in 99, we were in San Francisco showing a, a newfangled technology that people were curious about called a, a, a hybrid car. It was the first Prius. And, um, you know, back then we were trying to teach people, you know, it's, it's a hybrid, it charges itself while you drive, and it uses the gas engine to also generate electricity. You don't have to have a long extension cord in order to drive down the street. And um, so that was, you know, that was how far the technology has come. And now people, you know, Toyota just sold their 7 million hybrid, so it's, it's become ubiquitous. Hybrids are everywhere. Yeah, but it's also funny because now there's some plug-in hybrids that you need a cord to plug into <laughs> the wall. So it's like a full circle in that, in that sense, I guess. Exactly, yeah. We went from teaching everyone you don't have to plug it in to now saying, oh, but wait, now you can. So, yeah, it's, it's come full circle for sure. So uh, that is very interesting because um, I think in the past, um, you probably remember better because you've seen like the cars coming onto the shows. In the past five years, I would say, that's where the big change in technology has, has come along, right? I mean, like, we started with, like, navigation, and now there's, like, pretty much autonomous driving cars, and, like, electric, oh, plug-in yeah. hybrids, diesels, sort, all sort of questions that customers have uh, when they go to an auto show. Oh, exactly, yeah. We get lots of technology questions, lots of safety questions, and, and, and really we're seeing alternative technologies, like the uh, a lot of fuel cell questions, especially in Los Angeles, where we've got a lot of... Uh, green conscious consumers on the west coast they want to know about the hydrogen fuel cell next because that's what um some automakers are are coming out with and toyota showing one uh showed one in new york last year so it's uh the technology is amazing what we've seen and that's why as a product specialist you know we we spend as an agency productions plus is the agency we train over 600 product specialists at 16 different automotive brands on all of the latest technology both uh, powertrain technology, safety, and telematics. So we, we cover the gambit. Yeah, and, and, and the, 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 your, your job at the, at the auto show is to explain to people how these, these things work. So I guess you're gonna have, you, you have to do it in another very technical uh, language, right? So because some of these things are kind of complicated, but they have to be easy for the people to use. You're absolutely right, Javier. It becomes how do we, in, in layman's terms, communicate some of the complicated technology? And then, and then there's still like the three percent of the people who come to the show who are the real gearheads who, you know, are are really wanting to talk about the technology. So we we have to, as the product specialists, know how to talk to the gearheads about all the real technology, the nuts and bolts, but also how to make it into layman's terms for for most of the population. And I guess you also, and I guess you also have some of those that think that know more than you. <laughs> Oh, sure, yeah. We, I mean, you know, people who listen to your show, people who are, are big automotive buffs, like, you know, engineers, we, we talk to a lot of those people as well. And, yeah, we can't know everything. We know a lot about the cars, but we can't know everything on them. So 
it's uh, but we meet so many great people at the auto shows and we help so many people because they come to the show for a sales pressure free environment they come to be entertained they come to see all the cars in one place and, and our job is, is really as an agency and as a product specialist is to help people learn what, what car might fit their needs and wants the best. You touch a very interesting point, the, the no pressure aspect of uh, learning about a new car. So when, what, what would be your recommendation for people who are coming to an auto show and have something in mind? Should they be prepared? Because there's a lot to see, I mean, and they cannot see it in, in a whole day. So what would be your tips for people to come into an auto show and take advantage of your knowledge and all of, of your colleagues? Well, I, th I think you're right. And, and I think it becomes, um, we, we talk to so many educated consumers already, but for the people who are coming to the shows and, and the research we see shows that about 70% of the people who come to an auto show are looking at buying or leasing a car in the next year or so. Um, so, so do your homework. Get online. Uh, go to the various websites. Find the cars that you're interested in. But then look for us when you come to the show. Um, we will be easily identified. We all wear a, a wardrobe that fits the manufacturer that we are at. And find us, um, talk to us, and ask your questions, because that's what we're there for. We'll spend five minutes with you. We'll spend a half an hour with you. That, we're there to help you. Uh, make an informed decision about which car is perfect for you. Great. Uh, so Toyota just introduced the Camry, the Jaris, and the new Sienna. So that's uh, what you were talking about your training. You were going through that now to learn everything that it's new on those three cars, right? Exactly, yes. We prepare um, all of the product specialists on whatever the highlight vehicles are for the manufacturer going into the season. Um, and as you said, Camry, Yaris, and Sienna is, for Toyota, those are the big ones that have received some changes. Um, and so we, we get up to speed on those as well as the entire lineup. So every car we, we study, but the ones that have the big changes are the ones we spend a lot of time on in the fall. Yeah, we're talking to Matt Troyer. He is a product specialist with Toyota. He's been doing this for 15 years, going around the auto shows uh, around the country and the world. So, Matt, uh, you started in 99. Why did you start into this? And also, how do people who are interested in this kind of job, which is very exciting and interesting, can get into yep. it? Well, sure. I started because I, I grew up in Michigan, so I've always had a little gasoline in my blood. Yeah. You know? And um, and I enjoyed the travel aspect of it as well. So we could we do. You mentioned a few other shows. Um, you know, Miami, Detroit, Chicago, LA, New York. But there are there are um, all kinds of shows all over the country, and from big shows to little shows. You know, we'll be in Poughkeepsie, we'll be in Rochester, Seattle, all over. Um, and if people are interested in it, if they like to travel, if they, if they love cars, and if they like to talk to people, uh, it's a great opportunity. The agency we work with is called Productions Plus, and their website is productions-plus.com. And we have offices in L.A. We're headquartered in Detroit. We also have offices in New York and Chicago. We handle over 600 product specialists with 16 brands. So if you think you might be interested in a career like that, uh, you know, look at the website and reach out to us. Yeah, that, and, and any special requirements that people have to have to do this? Um, well, a lot of us are college educated. You don't have to be, um, but we do expect you to have a passion for, for automotive. We expect you to be able to talk with people. Um, if it's a brand that narrates, you have to be able to get on a microphone and do some public speaking. Um, and, and that's it, you know, it's, it's, we look for people who are energetic, passionate, and have a love for automotive. Excellent. Matt Troyer from Production Plus and a Toyota specialist for 15 years. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll let you go back to your training then, and I'll see you in L.A. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to seeing you, Javier. Thank you very much, Matt. Have a great day. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.